everyone and welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd share another sewing project that I've done for the baby. So I made kind of a soft playbook, kind of a sensory, because um, it has like crinkle plastic inside it so it has the sound, um, little like book for the baby to play with. Um, I don't think that it would be something that a newborn baby would really get anything out of. Um, so it's probably when they're a little bit older, like a few weeks or months older. Not really sure, not done this before. Um, so I decided to make it weather themed, so inside is all different examples of weather. So I've got like kite for wind and then rain, rainbows, sunshine, lightning. I did kind of run out of weather when I was making the book. I did think I could do snow but then I thought trying to do snowflakes would just have been far too difficult. And um, so it's only got a few pages in it. Um, and it was just an idea to use up some of my um, leftover fabric and fat quarters and um, that seemed particularly sort of baby friendly like this one with like owls on it and um, also I have loads of felt and ribbons and things like that and that felt is really easy to sew with and, and use and um, I also had some of the crinkle fabric left over, sorry crinkle plastic left over which I had used previously to make um, some crinkle squares um, and I did a video on that as well and also I had, uh, I still have some like wadding which you can put inside like sort of quilts and stuff so I've used that on a couple of pages just to make them a little bit squishier so it was just kind of using up bits in my stash to make like a cute little toy activity thing for the baby um, and I just thought it was a fairly straightforward simple and fun project. I'm quite pleased with how it turned out um, I'll show you a flip through of all the pages so that you can see it a bit more clearly. So I can give a flip through of the playbook just to show you what it looks like on the inside a bit more close up but this is, these are like the templates that I used so I just had a white square which was the template just to get the size of the pages to be somewhat similar although I totally failed because I kind of just eyeballed it when I was actually cutting out the fabric so that came up a little bit weird when I was putting it all together I actually made up like a little mock version of it um, just so that I could get like the pages right and how it would all fit together in terms of which pages would get attached to which other pages. Um, I've got some letters that I used when I was putting the letters and then I've also got some templates for like the cloud, the lightning bolt, the umbrella and then this was the sun and then it became a rainbow as well. So I just used those to make sure that all of the size of everything was kind of uniform and kind of worked with the size of the pages. So the cover is made from some leftover blue chambray fabric that I had um, and then all the um, embellishments or things um, are made from felt which I glued on and then also sewed on. I just didn't want anything to be able to come off because obviously baby is going to pull on it and chew on it and stuff and I didn't want anything to be able to go in its mouth um, or come off in its mouth. So all of the fabric for the pages was made out of like fat quarters um, fabric that I had left over. Inside the like front and back cover I've got some wadding so these front like first pages or the cover is a little bit thicker and like squishier than the other pages. So this is a kite made of felt and then I did use some um, ribbons for the like kite string and I've got an umbrella with some raindrops and inside this page you can hear there is crinkle plastic which I bought off eBay ages ago and I've made some um, crinkle sensory toys as well for the baby using the crinkle plastic um, but I just had a bit left over. So then the next page is a rainbow and you can kind of see pages aren't quite the same size <laughs> but this is also because of how it's been sewn in as well and then the next page is the sun which I really like it just came out looking really nice I was going to put a smiley face on it but then I thought I would end up ruining it so I've just left it blank and I've got more of that crinkle plastic and then I've got a cloud which I also like and I've used ribbons to kind of indicate the rain which were glued on at the top sewn on and then also sewn again when I sewed the cloud on top um, and just to make sure they're secure um, and then I've got my lightning bolt, which I put this page in the wrong way round, so the lightning is kind of in a weird direction, but lightning does come in all different directions. Um, and then this has got the wadding as well, and the back is just plain. 
So all of these um, features I sewed onto the um, fat quarter fabric first before I sewed the pages together. I sewed all the individual pages, like those two together, these two together, the front and the uh, the, the front cover and the first page together before I sewed all of them together um, and I'm sure there was an easier way of doing it but I did that and then I sewed these two together here and these two together here and these two together here and it was really awkward to do so and it was really awkward to get the um, particularly at the ends um, to get them sewn securely and neatly. Um, I was left with about this much that was an open space because I had to turn the whole thing inside out to sew these together and then I had to pull it all through this little gap and then I've had to hand sew this section here which is not as neat and not as secure and I really hate hand sewing so um, that's not ideal and also I found that partially just because of the it was kind of an awkward way of attaching everything together and partially just because of the fact that the pages were all ever so slightly different sizes when I actually made the book up um, I found that the very top of the book where the, all the pages join and also the very bottom didn't line up perfectly um, and I had to do some more hand sewing I don't know if you can see We'll probably won't focus. A bit more hand sewing just to make sure that they were all securely fastened together. So it doesn't look super neat and again it's not as secure as the machine sewn pages. But I'm hoping that the baby won't really be strong enough to pull it all apart and there's nothing really in here that would come off and be a hazard. It does have plastic inside it but it would be quite difficult, I think, for the baby to pull the whole sheet of plastic out accidentally. And I would, or um, my boyfriend will be with the baby when it's playing with the book. So I think it's uh, safe. I mean, I wouldn't give it to the baby if it wasn't. And I'm quite pleased overall with how it came out and how all the individual pages look. I just wish that I'd been able to kind of finish it off a little bit more neatly. Um, yeah, so I am pleased with how it turned out, but yeah, the, the little finishing off sections that look a little bit less neat uh, because I had to like quickly hand sew some bits to make sure it didn't all fall apart. Um, and I think that, yeah, two reasons. One is that I wasn't careful enough when I was cutting out the pages of the book to make sure that they were all uniform size. So when I was putting them together, they didn't necessarily exactly line up and then that left just right at the top in the, like, the corners a little bit of discrepancy that I had to then kind of deal with um, and also um, the way that I constructed the book so I could figure out how to create the pages and I could put the pages sort of together but I didn't know how to put all of them together into a book um, in like a book format I think there's probably much simpler ways to do it than the way that I did it but I was kind of making it up as I went along and this is what happened. Um, so yeah, that's the, the playbook and I um, do think it's really cute and I am pleased with how like all the pages look. I really love the sun, I just think it's so bright and happy and friendly. And um, we'll have to wait a few more months um, to see if the baby actually gets anything out of the book. Who knows? Can't really predict that. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below and if you've liked it, please give me a like and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe.